Hey, this is Scott Photography Bonsai. In this video, we're going to be experimenting with macro photography in a controlled environment. We've got a little diorama of Legos put together. I'm going to try two different things one with a DSLR and extension tubes, and then one with a cell phone and some add on lenses. So, try those both out with different settings, different configurations with the little diorama set up different angles, different subjects in there and see how it goes. Now we're going to try this mobile photo set. I did a video on this in the past. You can check that out if you're interested. It's cheap little lenses you can attach to a cell phone. Now that we've seen some of the results, I'm going to go over points on each configuration with the DSLR. You have a huge amount of versatility, but then you have some difficulties. It's especially with a large camera like that. It's hard to really get in there and get angles that I was able to get with the cell phone. But besides that, you have a huge amount of flexibility with different lenses, the different tubes. You can use a dedicated macro lens. So many options with DSLR. And of course, you get very thin depth of field when you want it, but you make the aperture a lot smaller. And you can easily get backgrounds in focus. It really depends on what you want. A lot of options. Of course, with the cell phone, you can't get the blurred out backgrounds nearly as much as a large DSLR. It does work sometimes, but again, it's just really not designed that way. Small sensor and of course, newer phones, you might have better luck with those, especially the current ones where they're really expensive, but they have artificial intelligence and programming to help blur those backgrounds out. I don't know how well it would work in this specific situation, but those are an option. Anyways, it was a fun experiment. I think I'll try to do it more in the future. Nice controlled setting. The little Lego diorama worked well for macro stuff, of course. Gives me a lot of options with framing, composition, and in the future, I'm going to try some lighting to really enhance the look of things. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. If you have any suggestions, I'm open definitely to those. Again, thanks. See you next time.